inch by inch and row by row, Wentworth Greenhouses in Rollinsford is working around the clock to help make your gardens grow. We have one of the larger uh, retail um, facilities for greenhouses in the state. Um, so we have a lot of covered area where you can come in in pretty much any weather, whether it's the winter or a rainy day in the spring, and still be able to shop for quite a while. Uh, we pride ourselves on having quite a variety of plants and uh, growing most of our, if not all of our spring annuals um, here on site and vegetables and herbs. Wentworth Greenhouses has been family owned and operated for over 50 years. My cousins, my brothers, uh, we all grew up in this business and uh, did odd jobs when we were young from, from very young and then uh, right through high school. Um, and back uh, when we were in high school, the bus would come up and probably 20 or 30 kids would get off in the spring uh, to help with transplanting and things like that in the greenhouses. Brian Wentworth now owns the operation along with his brother Mark Wentworth and cousin John Wentworth. This property here uh, where all the greenhouses stand now uh, was actually fields back when my grandfather uh, lived down at the other end of the parking lot here. And uh, at that time he was doing agricultural farming outside, growing squash and different vegetables that uh, they would sell at the Boston uh, produce market. And my father and my uncle would help him in the fields with that when they were young. Um, and then some in greenhouses were introduced. Brian's dad and uncle continued to push greenhouse growing and grow it did. Including the retail space up here is, is about six acres under cover. We still do uh, a lot of hands-on growing, so the, uh, the growers that we have, um, we really take pride in, in the product that we're producing, and it, uh, we don't have a, a lot of technological advances, so we, we do have some, but uh, a lot of it is still done by hand, whether it's pinching plants and um, watering by hand, um, so we think that makes a little bit of a difference in the, in the end product. Brian and his crew know the first warm days here in New Hampshire give everyone a bit of spring fever. When people get a little anxious time of year with the beautiful weather. We reassure them that we are still growing and <laughs> it'll be coming soon. The dirt has been flying. And the seed machine has been working hard to sprout new life for months now. It's going through the machine here and you can see the little arm moving. So there's little needles on there that have suction and that suction is picking up a seed every time and then dropping it into one of those cells. And, uh, and then it's covered with a vermiculite covering after that. A far cry from the way Brian's dad and grandfather did things. This is how they used to the seed in an open tray. They'd have a cup like this and just shake the seeds along. And the problem with that is when they germinate, all the seeds are rooted together. And so there's some damage to the seed and the root system when they're separated for transplanting. But with the cells, uh, you have a nice little root ball and the plant transplants a lot easier, more healthy. But in this greenhouse here, we have a lot of young plants uh, rooting. This is a Rex begonia in uh, one of our four and a half inch pots. And uh, this is where most of our young plants start out and then they'll move to another greenhouse to finish, uh, to be ready for retail. Once the baby seeds are germinated and ready to graduate to the next greenhouse, they come here. So these are actually dianthus, annual dianthus uh, seedlings, and they're going along and plucking them out of the seed trays. You can see the good strong root ball on them. They're pretty easy to remove and uh, just planting away. By the end of May, everything you see here will be gone. Hand watering, hand shaping, hand pinching. A lot of work goes into getting each and every one of these seedlings ready for your garden. Seeing the enjoyment people get from having plants, whether it's a house plant they're bringing inside or a, a flower or something they're buying for someone, and uh, kind of the satisfaction they get from maybe raising a tomato and putting it in their salad. It's just that kind of, uh, it's, it's really the enjoyment of the whole the whole thing. The Wentworths hope to keep things hands-on, passing the green thumb to the next generation. You know, all our kids have worked here um, when they were young. We actually do uh, have 
uh, a member of the next generation coming along, my nephew and his wife, and they're actually, it's a new venture, they're joining us with their business, Mellon Botanical, which offers cut flowers and flowers for weddings and events, which we've never offered cut flowers before, so that's kind of an exciting new venture to things. And remaining a destination for many looking to get their flower fix year round. We have a lot of uh, people who have come here for years, different traditions, whether it's Mother's Day or at Christmas time when we have our open house. We have a lot of families that come in that have been coming since the children were little. 